Good morning, members of the management, teachers, and my dear friends. It's so good to see you all back safe and sound. This year, we expected rejoining school physically, but unfortunately, the wait has extended. We need to understand that it's God's plan and renew our journey with hope. Today, we, the students of 7th A, along with the class teacher, Miss Natasha de Souza, are all set with the assembly to begin this new day with joy and happiness in our hearts. We extend a warm welcome to our rector, Reverend Father Crispino de Souza, our principal, Reverend Father Bernard Fernandez. Our Vice Principal, Sir Clifford de Souza. Our Assistant Headmistress, Miss Christina Mascarenas. Our Supervisor, Miss Anita Philip. Sir Rai, and the members of the staff. It's been a tough time for all of us. We all have gone through many difficulties during this pandemic. Many of us have lost our near and dear ones. As we begin this new academic year with a ray of hope, let us pray to the Almighty God to shower His blessing upon us. Help us to do the things we should, to be to others kind and good. In all we do, in all we say, to grow more loving every day. There's a place in your heart, and I know that it is love. And this place came much brighter than tomorrow. And if you really try, you'll find there's no need to cry. In this place, you feel there's no hurt or sorrow. There are ways to get there if you care enough for the living. Make a little space, make a better place, heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying, if you care enough for living, make a better place for you. Strong, it only cares for joy for giving. If we try, we shall see in this bliss we cannot feel. There are dreams, we stop existing and start living. Then it feels that always love's enough for us growing. Meditation is a vital way to purify and quieten the mind, thus, thus rejuvenating the body. It is the way of nourishing and blooming the divinity within you. Miss Natasha will now lead us into meditation. Hope is a fickle thing. You have it, and then you don't. You think. Everything is going back to normal 
and then you receive crushing news and hope disappears but is hope really gone hope is like a flower it appears on schedule but you forget it's there at times sometimes it's lurking beneath the surface and you have to create your own flowers you have to visualize them in your mind we are going through a time in which it feels like there is a hefty price to pay for hope it feels way too expensive but what in what's interesting is that it's even more expensive to lose the sight of hope you need hope like you need air and yet we don't consider the price of air until it's gone until it's difficult to breathe in this way hope and air are linked where do we go if we can't find hope what do we do if nothing is working your answer is you build a castle for hope you construct the walls you beautify the grounds you create that space that will one day welcome it that's all is what you can do the work and then when you least expect it hope appears it was that flower that was never truly born it's just something that you couldn't see at that time create that space for hope and invite it in thank you thank you ms natasha and elvis for leading us into prayer and meditation most of the important things in the world are accomplished by people who have kept on trying where there seem to be no hope at all let us listen to a poem recited by master shrine ashok that delivers a strong message of never quitting in life don't quit when the things go wrong and sometimes it will when the roads are digging seems up hill when the funds are low and the debts are high when you want to smile but you are shy when the care is pushing you down a bit rest if you must but don't you quit life is a curve with twists and turns as every one of us has sometime learned as failures turn about he might have won but he stuck it out don't give up with your pace seems low you may succeed in another blow often the goals are nearer than it seems to faint and faltering man often the struggles has given up when he can capture the victor's cup he learned too late and the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown success is a failure turned inside out a silver tint of clouds of dark you can't say where you are it may be near that seems so far so stick to the fight to the hardest hit when the things get worse you must not quit thank you it is said that friends and friendship add beauty and meaning to life they give us hope and had happiness in this kit we shall see a small example of how it is necessary to show care and concern and be a ray of hope to people around us i request the audience to mute the audios and off their videos for better connectivity once the presentation begins thank you math class is on teacher is explaining and solving math problems to the student in the virtual classroom good morning boys today we will continue the chapter algebraic expressions please open your notebook and textbook to page 20 exercise 2.2 in this in this problem 
problem we have to add two expressions but don't forget to add rule at this rule that i have taught in the last class yes okay, okay sir sam was unable to understand anything taught in the class looked stressed and confused sam why do you look so confused are you understanding what is being taught are you writing yes sir no sir i am writing sam put on your video i am asking something please respond sam was unhappy his camera is off and does not respond to the question asked One day, Rohit, Sam's classmate, decides to call up Sam and discuss the problem. Hi, Rohit. Hi, Sam. What happened? Is everything okay? We often see your camera off. during the meets at times you don't even attend the classes what's wrong is there something bothering you you can share your problem with me and we will fix it together rohit i can't understand the math problems taught in class i find it too difficult to cope up at times i feel lost and helpless i miss my teachers who took so much trouble to clear my doubts even you played a vital role during the breaks i wish everything would be okay and it will be easy that's all sam This isn't a big problem. I do understand we cannot meet personally, but don't worry. Every problem comes with a solution. You can call me on a holidays. We shall solve and discuss math problems together on a video call. Will you or you help me do it? I'll be certainly very grateful. Yes, indeed. If I have doubts, I message or call Sir Lobo, and he always helps me. Me and Sir together can make things easy for you.
Thank you, Rohit. I am blessed to have friends like you. With friends like you, life become easy and wonderful. Don't worry, fam. These days, where we are away from each other, from school and our teachers, will pass. Yes, Rohit. I remember. Father Bona said, "Never lose hope. We will overcome these days soon." Let's together renew the jo this journey of hope. Help each other and make a difference together with our friends, teachers, and parents. We can achieve everything. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way. With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. He will make a way. Thank you, friends, for putting forth this beautiful message of mentoring and supporting each other in times of need. Change is painful. Saying goodbye to our old friends and school, and joining a new institution, making new friends online is hard, but not impossible. This year, the class seventh A has twelve new students. Some of our new friends will now share their experience with us. Hi, I am Alice Kalkata from seventh A. I am very happy to come to this school. Teachers are very supportive towards children. The assignment is being done systematically, which helps me to improve more in study. If any problem happens and we approach any of the staff members of the school, the problem is being solved as fast as they are possible. Thank you for being supportive. Hello everyone. My name is Shobhan. I am from Bangalore. 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 My name is Nawaz. I joined Don Bosco School recently in Standard Seven. I had a great experience ever since I joined. The teachers are very polite here. I am able to understand most of the concepts during lectures. Looking forward to meeting all of you. Have a nice day, everyone. Stay safe, stay happy. Teachers and all my dear friends, myself Atharva Deshmukh, studying in Seven Standard Division A. Previous, I was studying in Bansi Dar. I was very agree to study in Don Bosco High School, and I find myself lucky to be in this school. Teachers take good care of us and our studies. I don't, I don't feel like I am studying at home and attending online class. Thank you, teachers, for making our study easy. My new experience at Don Bosco High School is wonderful. I, I enjoy attending lectures. All the teachers are very kind and positive. They teach really well. I also go to be a part of NCC COP and I am excited for it. So far, I'm so far I am enjoying a lot in Don Bosco High School. Thank you. Friends, I am Kristi, studying in seventh. From the day I have joined the school, supervisors and teachers have been very cooperative. Studying online have been informative and helpful in understanding concepts. Looking forward to meet you all soon. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye. A warm welcome to my dear new friends to the Don Bosco family. We are happy that you have joined us. to study as a class and are having a great experience so far we look forward to have fun together and excel in a new academic year hoping to meet you all soon at school physically let's have a fruitful year together and work together as a team to enjoy all the events throughout the year thank you since last year 
our teachers have taken a lot of efforts to teach us online. They have come out of their comfort zone, molded themselves to be tech savvy, and helped us learn and grow virtually using innovative techniques and presentations. And it is time to say a big thank you to them. Thank you, fathers and teachers, for all of your hard work. Because of your hard work, all of us are gaining knowledge. Thank you. Fathers and teachers, you deserve all the love and respect. Thank you for everything you do for us. We will now see a special video by Miss Natasha on behalf of the management and staff for the students. boys it is so good to hear you all appreciate us teachers for the work we do but our profession is incomplete without you children we thank you for being supportive and cooperating with us in this online journey we have learned so much from you to be kind hearted to be joyful loving cheerful, happy and thus this motivates us to keep alive the child within us. We miss you all at school. Let us pray together that the school begins soon and we can work together as a team. Take care, stay safe. Thank you. Natasha for your kind words and for acknowledging us. We feel lucky to have you all as our teachers and educators. As this assembly comes to an end, let's together sing, join in the action and pray that all gets back to normal soon. <laughs> We 
I now call upon our rector, Reverend Father Crispino, to speak a few words. Good morning, and thank you to the Seventh Day for opening the academic year with their assembly on the theme of the year, Journeying with Hope. When they put up that skit, I was particularly taken up with Rohit, who was sensitive to a companion of his in the class who was having difficulty in learning. My dear staff members and boys, I think this is a year where we need to be compassionate and loving towards each other if we have to go through another year in this pandemic. We have already finished one year of online teaching and we have begun the second. And things can become a little more difficult this year because already to remain inside for one year has been quite a tough job. I'm sure as school, we will do the best that we can, you know, in order to see that uh, the best of education, teaching and learning takes place. When I saw that skit on hope, I was reminded of uh, the story of Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great was a mighty conqueror and he invaded countries all over the world and he collected a lot of things from each of those countries that he had conquered. And uh, one day he started distributing all the wealth that he had to everyone. And somebody came and told him, Emperor Alexander, in the end you will have nothing left with you. Why are you giving away everything that you have? And Alexander turned to that person and said, after I have given everything away, I will still have hope with me. I think that is a beautiful message that we have. You know, even if we give everything we have, something that still remains with us is hope. And it is on this hope that we need to carry on and not give up. I don't know, many of you must have heard this story, but I think it very beautifully brings out uh, what we need in this difficult time. It is the story of the four candles. I will conclude with this. The four candles burned slowly. Their ambience was so soft you could hear them speak. The first candle said, I am peace, but these days nobody wants to keep me lit. 
then pieces flame slowly diminishes and goes out completely the second candle said i am faith but these days i am no longer indispensable then faith's flame slowly diminishes and goes out completely sadly the third candle speaks i am love and i have in the strength to stay lit any longer people put me aside and don't understand my importance they even forget to love those who are nearest to them waiting no longer love goes out completely now suddenly a child enters the room and sees the three candles no longer burning the child begins to cry why are you not burning you are supposed to stay lit until the end then the fourth candle speaks gently to the little child don't be afraid for i am hope and while i still burn we can relight the other three candles with shining eyes the child took the candle of hope and lit the other three candles my dear friends never let the flame of hope go out of your life with hope no matter how bad things look and are peace faith and love can sh shine brightly in our lives good morning to all and have a nice day thank you father for your inspiring words i request our principal reverend father bernard to address us good morning to all of you in the first place thanks to father rector for addressing us for giving us a strong message on hope and i'm sure this message on hope will carry us forward to this year maybe once again affected by the pandemic i want to congratulate you the class of 7th a along with your class teacher miss natasha de souza for being the opening batsman for this scholastic year actually according to the calendar 7th a was not the opening batsman okay there were a couple of other classes before you for the assembly uh, but because of the preparation of the ssc results and some other things that came our way those assemblies were postponed so as luck would have it the tough choice of being the opening batsman fell on uh, the 7th a class okay that is with miss natasha and uh, you my dear boys along with the guidance of course i suppose of your supervisor miss sanita a few days back your class teacher miss natasha sent me the script for the assembly and i wish her all the best for the assembly and uh, this is what she said about you my dear boys she said thank you father hoping mine and the boys hard work pay off and uh, all love the assembly we tried our best to do justice to the team i think your hard work paid off don't worry okay i could see miss natasha all fretting all nervous you know when things were not working out see you can't help it out okay you can't help it especially when there are technical glitches you have tried your best and that is what counts okay i always believe in that and uh, i appreciate the hard work that all of you put in in preparing for this assembly with 12 new students also it is not so easy keeping in mind that many of you do not know how things are conducted at the assembly and uh, 
it's commendable on the teacher's part to get you all together and work towards this assembly. I must congratulate also the two compares, uh, if I'm right, Rashid and Bhavya. Okay, these were the two compares. Very good. I always say this at any assembly. If you are, a, if you are very clear in what you are speaking, half the effect is already uh, come into this assembly by being uh, very effective in your communication. Because if our communication is not clear, then we do not really know what the theme is all about. And you introduced your parts well, and it was clear. So congratulations to you for working on this part of the assembly. I quite like the idea of welcoming the students, the 12 new students of your class. Not all of them, of course, could speak. And uh, you could feel their sentiments when they have uh, joined a new school. May have missed out their new friends and coming here in Don Bosco to make new friends. And, up, and it's up to you, my dear boys of standard 7A, our old students, to make them feel at home. And uh, I quite liked, I think it was Cyrus Fernandez who welcomed the boys, welcomed the students at the end of the presentation. So well done to you. And of course, the students and the staff reciprocating each other for the good work done, for the hard work put in at the assembly last year, not only at the assembly, at the and for the entire year last year so congratulations to you my dear students and thank you for your sentiments expressed and i think miss natasha also reciprocated the wishes of each and every staff member and the management and uh, of course you ended well with that action song we could not do our action songs from your father chris Pino must have been doing i'm not very sure i'm not watching him okay yeah but he is he is very versatile in picking up these actions, especially dance songs, you know. Yeah. But it was nice. You ended on a very nice note, very happy note, very cheerful note. And it gave us a lot of positive vibes. So once again, congratulations to all of you. Congratulations, Natasha, to the class students and to all of you who joined here at this meet. God bless you. Thank you, Father, for your words of wisdom. I would now like to invite Sir Clifford de Souza. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations to you, dear children of Standard 7A, and to you, dear teacher, Miss Natasha de Souza. Okay. It was a well presented assembly. A lot of hard work is being put in by you, also, dear students. Okay. First of all, I want to thank you all for that beautiful invite. Okay. Also, the compares well performed, Rishit Kumar and Bhavya Jain. Then we had Natasha doing her meditation on hope. And then, what well uh, compiled a video presentation and the dance which the boys performed there. Okay. Action song also was very good. We shall overcome by all the students' actions. <laughs> well done. Okay. And also, I want to thank all you do, boys, for putting in a lot of effort, a lot of effort. Okay. A very warm welcome to our new dear students. Okay. Physically, we can't welcome you, but we are welcoming you online. Okay. And thank you for your message, dear Father Rector. Especially, I wait to hear your stories. And your stories are really, really inspiring. Okay? I will take that story of the four candles. Thank you so much. God bless you all, boys. Thank you, Sir Clifford, for sharing your thoughts. I would now like to call upon Sir Wright to speak about our assembly. Boys. So it was your first assembly, but you have tried your level best. And your teacher also, your class teacher also, has done very well. I'm very happy to know about it. And really, there is a hope this year. I'm sure about it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Rai. I would now call upon Miss, Mrs. Anita Philip to also speak about our assembly. Good morning, uh, respected fathers, Sir Rai, Sir Clifford, and all you, my dear children. Uh, I have already given my uh, uh, 
views to you before. I won't waste any more time on that, but uh, you all have done very well. Miss Natasha and you all together, you all just had a little over 10 days. Miss Natasha had her exam, her uh, new role as a class teacher. And in this short time, what you have put up is really commendable. Congratulations to each one of you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, you Miss Anita. I now call upon Master Path Sonsuka to deliver the vote of thanks. Hi, Pat Sunsurkar, on behalf of the class 7th day and our class teacher, Miss Natasha, would like to thank the management and the staff for your presence at our assembly. We are thankful to Miss Novia for helping us with the script. Thanks to Kunal Chaudhary, Kala Jain, Ishan Mishra, and Shang Ashok for their efforts toward the editing the video and their technical support like to extend our gratitude to our supervisor mrs anita philip mrs anita philip and all the parents for the rock solid support and encouragement last but not the least thanks to our class teacher for training us for the assembly a big thank you to each one of you who had made this assembly memorable for all of us have a nice day uh, father would also, also like to thank Miss Ravina because uh, while my computer was uh, not working, we both, we both me and my student got handicapped. Ravina was there uh, right behind. So, Ravina, thank you very much. Thank I you. Sensed I sensed it. I sensed it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and even Janil. Janil, thank you very much, dear. Mm. So all the best, my dear boys, for the year ahead. Okay. And hopefully we shall meet. God bless yes. you. Yes. Thanks. Thank Thanks you, Father. Thank you, Father Christino. Yeah. Thank you, Father Bernard. Thank you, teachers, yeah. for joining us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.